what's going on everybody? Steve here at Rake and Profit over at Rake and Profit. Com, coming back to you with another video and today we have an epic haul video that I want to share with you. I visited a bunch of garage sales, thrift stores, and some estate sales and I found some great stuff. Now this is part three of my haul video. I've kind of split these videos up because I found so many different items. But if you guys are interested in learning how to make some extra side money, a little hustle with reselling, you know, flipping items on eBay and Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, Etsy, Poshmark, bada bing bada boom, the profits are coming soon. You are in the right place. So without further ado, let me take a breath and let's get into this video. So let's start off with just a little single, right? This was a little estate sale find, a quarter. <laughs> if you guys watched, I think it was part one or part two, one of those videos, I shared an estate sale that I went to. And I mean, I was getting stuff dirt cheap. It was ridiculous. I actually am kicking myself because a couple of young kids got there before me and they picked up a bunch of Harford Whalers, old vintage clothing and jerseys and stuff. And I mean, they were getting these things for 50 cents, a dollar, two bucks. And they were in front of me checking out when I was passing by and I was like, I'm gonna kill these son of a guns, but it's the way it goes. I found some Wilton pans over there. I actually found a set of like 10. I'm just sharing with you one of them. Be on the lookout for Wilton. Okay, this is like, this could be a freaking we weapon. Like you can cause some serious damage with this. Um, I found a bunch of Christmas themed ones. When you're paying 50 cents a buck for Wilton, really strong, sturdy stuff, you can't go wrong. This will probably go for 15, 20 bucks alone. What I'm gonna do is sell a complete set or I might split it off into like three lots just because it might get a little heavy and just wanna make sure. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but we'll see, I haven't thought it out. Next up, this was another item that I found um, that same day, but it was at a garage sale. This is a Logitech. I've shared this before. This is actually the webcam that I use in my videos. This is a C920. Um, the value have come down on these quite a bit, but you could probably get still 30 to 50 bucks on these used all day long. I paid a buck for this right here. This is a C920. Let me see if, uh, is there any identification marks on this for you guys? I don't know if there's any identifiers, but just <laughs> don't forget what this looks like. It's pretty big, but this is what pretty much everybody's using right now for webcams. Now, this was a, a pretty crazy score right here. Um, I ended up getting 20% off of this. So I paid around, no, 30%, around 15 bucks from Savers for this. It was originally like $22. And these are Danner boots. These things are serious. Now I do need to clean them up if you take a look got a little bit of dirt on them, but these things are serious. These things are really, really nice. These are men's size eight. So it's not the best size. It looks bigger than a size eight, to be honest with you, but that's what it says, size eight. Show you guys this label. These things sell for some really good money. I'll probably be able to get at least 60 bucks for these, maybe more. Portland, Oregon, made in the USA. It's got the leather uh, exterior right here. I mean, these are just beautiful. These are the types of things you wanna be on the lookout for. And I don't mind spending 15, 20 bucks to flip something for 60 to $70, get my money to work for me. Now, this was cool. So this is a little lunch box right here that I picked up, GI Joe. Now, what I really like about it, it's got the little metal clasp. They don't make it like that anymore. This was sold at Ames back in the day for five $5.77. Now, this, typically will come with probably like the little Goonie thermos and whatever. This isn't big. I actually got this for free. He just told me that I could throw it in. But this type of stuff is nostalgic. People like it. I mean, I think this is gonna sell for probably like between 10 and 20 bucks. Not anything huge, but I love finding stuff like this. Again, if you could find it complete with the thermos, with the different accessories, obviously if the artwork's in good shape, it'll be worth more. And this is just beautiful. This is 1980, 1987 guys. This is when I was born. I just turned 35 years old on May 29th. So this video is probably coming out a couple weeks later, but check that out. I thought that was a really cool find that I want to share with you. Now, this was actually a find that I got in a pallet. Okay. So excuse me. I didn't share that with you in the beginning. This is one item that I found in a pallet. Now I use a service called pallet IQ. I'm not affiliated or getting paid any affiliate stuff for them, but that's who I use. Check this book out right here. Look this thing up. Now, right now on Amazon, it looks like you can only sell this as collectible and the lowest price is $195 for this on Amazon. On eBay, these things are selling for over a hundred bucks all day long. Used, in used condition, the art of eating well. 
I don't know what makes this book so special. You know, I was shocked when I came across it. It looks like it just has like different recipes and stuff. I know the light is pretty bad, but it's amazing what some books will sell for. And I wanted to share this with you because I actually pulled it out of my palette. And I was like, that's a pretty cool find. I'm in it for, you know, probably around two bucks or so, but that is just a jackpot score. I love selling books. You guys know that. This was a Savers find that I came across right here. This is a Brickheads uh, retired set. Look for Lego items that are retired. That means they're not coming back. Hopefully it won't come back again. Now there's a little bit of damage on this because this was actually sold at Marshall's previously and it looks like they ripped that off. So it does have a little bit of box wear. There is a little bit of damage to the side. So, you know, I wouldn't sell this on Amazon as new just because you gotta be careful. Collectors don't like when things are like ripped up and damaged like that. I'll still be able to sell this on Amazon. It was going for like 38 or 39 at the time of this recording but I could probably get 25 bucks for this, you know, open box or something, even though it's not open, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like has a little bit of box shelf wear. Money in the bank all day long. This thing's only gonna continue to go up in value. Again, I wish the box wasn't so beat up, but I paid, I think I paid 2.99 at Savers. So that is a pretty cool score. I love Lego. All right, so the next item I wanna share with you is a pretty cool item I found at a thrift store for 3.99. This is a New York Giants. Eli Manning jersey, Reebok, uh, NFL equipment, size 52, right here. This thing's in really, really great shape. Um, 20 to 30 bucks, you know, not a huge home run right here. Uh, maybe I can get a little bit more. For something like this, you'd really wanna put it on the mannequin, make it look nice, put a good description, take the measurements. It is a bit bigger, so that'll help it to sell but a really cool item. And people ask me, do I still sell clothing? Yes, I still sell clothing. I don't sell it a ton, but only specific things that I know are gonna move and, and flip pretty quickly. All right, so the second to last item I wanna share with you guys is uh, the Osborne's first season. I paid $2.99 for this. This isn't you know, a jackpot home run, but I love selling DVDs, brand new seal. This thing's selling for actually more than I thought. Wow, did this go up in value? $52.93, so I'll bring $40 back after I sell this minus the three, so I'll make about $37. And last but not least, because my camera is overheating, I don't know why the Sony always overheats. This is another estate sale find. You guys, $1, are you, God, I wish I could show you proof, but there's no way I can show you proof because it's an estate sale. You're gonna have to take my word. But this is Walt Disney World. I mean, beautiful condition. I mean, this has got to sell for 30 to 50 bucks. Beautiful shape right here, really cool. I love estate sales. Anything Disney World, if it's weird, unique, this is like what, like a little glass, kind of like a little tray collectible type of thing, but uh, really, really nice. That was a really cool score. So that's what I found. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe before my camera overheats and explodes. But if you guys wanna learn more about what to buy and sell, check out the Reseller Sourcing Handbook. This is a product that I created that will teach you how to buy and sell items, what to look out for, the best items to flip on eBay and Amazon. I'm telling you, it'll make your money back quick. So with that being said, much love and see you in the next video. Peace.